First, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. Also, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. If you take a look at my other videos, you'll see I'm constantly answering questions and trying to help people out that are building their own vans. The last video I put out, I showed you how I made a screen for our hatch. And I got a lot of questions sent by email and through comments about our screens for our sliding door and our back doors. So here's the information about that. It's really easy to do and it doesn't have to cost hundreds or thousands of dollars. So this is what we did. We've got magnetic screens and they're low cost screens that you would use in a regular sliding glass door. And we just adapted them to put in our van. There of course will be a link in the description and when we run around to the other side, I'll show you the package so you can see what we purchased. I'm sure there are many different brands. These are just happen to be the ones we bought and they work so well that when we did these, I bought a second set because I always know that the first time I do something, it's a prototype and I'm going to want to make changes. And I'm going to show you some of the changes we've already made. First off, this is just a magnetic screen very simple, all right, and it attaches with Velcro all the way around the door. And of course, we had to do some sewing and make some adaptations so it would fit the van better than it would fit a house door. So take a closer look. This is the screen. In the center, there are magnets on both sides so that when you open it up, it'll close back together. And it's not gonna happen perfectly every time that it closes perfect. Isn't that something? Now that I want it to mess up on camera, it doesn't want to. So see, if I do that, I may have to hit it so that it'll close. But they work really, really well. Of course, I'm always the one who gets scolded for not making sure they're closed when I walk into the van and a mosquito gets in. But over on the side here, let's check this out. So if we look over here on the edge, all the way around the edge of this screen is Velcro. And there's a stick-on matching Velcro that goes all the way around the edge. And you simply stick it on. And that's all there really is to it. Now, I don't want to make it seem overly simple. You know, you have to fit it nicely. And let me tell you about the mistake that we made when we first did this. As you can see right here, we have Velcro on the outside. And when we first put these on, we put the Velcro on the outside and we actually had the screen go on this side of the seal. Honestly, it was a really dumb thing to do. It worked really well. We didn't know for a really long time that it wasn't working properly. We were in a heavy downstorm of rain and hail, and we ended up getting little droplets of water on the screen. And the reason was it was leaking. But the only reason it was leaking is because we put the screen over the top here. It was silly. And if you look at some of our travel videos that will be coming out soon, you'll see where that happened and I tried to fix the situation. But we ended up fixing it by simply installing it properly on the inside of the van. Now, this Velcro right here actually is attached to this rubber piece right here that goes all the way around the door. So it's just stuck to the inside of that. And actually, I'll take you inside so you can see right where it's uh, attached. We'll go inside and look right here. We're on the inside of the van right now. And if we go across the bed, and you can see right here, this is where the Velcro and the screen is attached. And this is the rubber seal that goes all the way around the door. And we just put the 
Velcro on the inside of that seal and then simply attached it all the way along. And it works really well. Now, of course, it's not perfect. If we come around here and we take a look at the inside of the sliding door, the Velcro up here, again, I put this all along that rubber seal. Now, up here, if you take a look at this right there, you know what that is? And then there's one right here. Those are actually binder clips because when the heat of the van worked on that Velcro adhesive, it started to fall here. So I put up a new piece of adhesive and this time I used these little binder clips and clipped it up here. And ever since I've done that, haven't had any problem at all. Matter of fact, I kind of forgot about it until I was doing this video. So let's take a closer look from the outside of this screen. When you open the sliding door of the ProMaster van, you'll find this little rubber cap. And if you pry on it a little bit, it comes out really easily. And I never really paid that much attention to it until one day I close the sliding door and the hook that goes in this cap that was on the door put a hole in my screen. The screen was open like that and the hook went right into that. Take a look at the door. Over here, Right here is where that metal hook was. And I'll put a picture of that hook in this video. That hook, I thought, served no purpose. But after doing some research, I discovered that that hook matches up and goes inside here so that if there is a collision that impacts this pillar, it smashes that steel hook and keeps this door from sliding open during a collision. I removed the hook, and I'm not saying that's the right thing to do, but if you don't, every time you close the door, you got to be really careful to be sure that this flap is not open. To do this, you're going to need two screens, one that opens from the side for the sliding door on the side of the van, and then one opens from the center for your back doors. I'll put links in the description for these products. These worked out excellent, and I bought a second set because I know I'll probably want to make changes along the way. What was nice about these products, they came with the self-stick Velcro in the package. Hopefully this information helps you out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hopefully you'll watch my next video. Thank you for watching. To repair the screen, I pulled it off its Velcro and used the magnet to just stick it up against the body of the van. And I'm going to use this screen repair tape that I purchased off Amazon. It has really, really good reviews, and I really don't expect that much from it. I expect it to look better than duct tape, so I don't think I'll be disappointed. So I placed it right up here, and I think I'm going to trim a couple of these off, and then I'll apply this piece of tape.
before I apply the tape, I'm going to wipe it down with some of this 91% alcohol. And then simply peel and stick. Get a little piece for this spot right here. Now I could put the tape on both sides. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to see how it holds up this way. And if it starts to fall apart, then I'll tape it on both sides. Really, I think that this piece right here doesn't really need to be screened. It could just be a piece of material, making it a little bit stronger, because we wouldn't miss out on that little portion of screen. So let's put it back. Just goes on the Velcro. And you can definitely tell it's been repaired, but this will give us a little bit more life until I replace it with an entirely new screen because I think there's a few more things I'm going to learn along the way before I want to replace the entire thing. Thanks for watching again.